we make the climb to Cook's Lookout before finally leaving Lizard Island to sail north to the Flinders Group. We're Aussies Rob and Karen who took early retirement in 2010 to sail the world. Join us on the 42 foot catch Our Dream Time as we strive to make the most of every minute of every single day. Welcome to Series 3, Up, Around and Into Indo. Beautiful fresh fruit salad for breakfast and the sun is shining again. The wind is blowing though. She's howling a little bit today here at Lizard Island. Then we're going to slip around the point and into Watson's Bay. We'll anchor up there for the night uh, with the view to tomorrow. Hopefully we'll go and do the, um, do the walk up to the top of the mountain at Cook's Lookout. Unusual to see Rob on the wheel when we leave, <laughs> but I've chickened out. <laughs> It is a little bit narrow here between the reefs. Uh, we got Russ up forward going to take the lines off. Yes, the reef is quite narrow here. It comes into a real V and we're sitting in that V. <laughs> Probably as tight to coral bommies as we've ever uh, moored. Take it slow till Russell gets back in the cockpit. Yeah, because I don't want him dust off, thanks. He only just turned 54. Oh no, it'd be a, <laughs> be a pain in the butt having to come back for him. Well, it looks like our move round to Watson's Bay was uh, well and truly worthwhile. A lot windier today. We're getting gusts up to 30 odd knots, but uh, no swell at all in here. We started to get a little bit of a roll up round in Mermaid's Cove at, at the high tide. So we have our Rainman watermaker pumping away. It's producing about 120, 140 litres an hour into uh, the water tanks. Uh, Juicy the generator is providing the power for that and um, well I have to say that we don't even have to, the battery chargers on because the solar and wind are absolutely cranking putting in uh, a lot of power to the house batteries so um, Karen's down there doing a little bit of baking this morning we're going to do 
ginger crusted coconut cream with lemon zest cheesecake. That's what's going to happen. Mm. Yum. Is that okay? It's very good, okay. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> Who's getting this big piece? So Russell and I are going to take on the uh, Cook's Look Walk. They rated us uh, two and a half to three hours, moderately challenging they say. So uh, I'm hoping I'm up to it because I'm nowhere near fit these days. But uh, we'll give it a shot. Meanwhile, the ladies are on boat watch. They're gonna make sure that the dinghy doesn't go anywhere and neither does Dreamtime sail. But I don't think they'll struggle all that badly. Hammocks are up, books in hand, water bottles in front of them. I can't imagine a harder job on Lizard Island than being on Boat Watch. The Lizard Island Resort down there in the next bay. Very exclusive, very expensive, but uh, any guest we've uh, come across it so far while we're here has described it as just stunning and absolutely brilliant. Okay, it's getting serious now. They've got footholds carved in the rock. Moderately challenging, remember? Yes, National Parks and Wildlife Service described the walk as moderately challenging at my age that's like saying damn near impossible well fortunately the steep part of the climb has uh, abated this is a reasonably gentle incline through the scrub and very nice to occasionally be in the shade it looks like we're coming to the uh, somewhere near the summit of this particular climb but we've already been warned by others as soon as you get around the corner you find out that there's another peak and clearly they weren't telling us lies and that looks a long way up Bullshit. Look at it. <laughs> ah, there's another peak. Another one. Thought we were coming to the top. Is it the last? So we got a glimpse of Mermaid Cove down there where we uh, sat on the mooring for a few days. Absolutely stunning. Not even there yet. This feels like the push for the summit on Everest. But I forgot my oxygen bottles. And that damn Sherpa ahead of me, he's still... He's still heading away from me. Ah <laughs> oh, well. 
and to think. Let's do this. It'll be fun, I said. Was there ever any doubt which way the prevailing wind blows here? Have a look at this tree. Just about horizontal. The people that we passed, it was their birthday today. Very cool. Eight of the six they put it on here. It's the last thing we put it in. That was Sarah. Well done. All well done. Name in history now. That's the marine research station down there. It's grown significantly over, I think, about the last 40 years. It started as a couple of tents, and in the years since, it's played host to literally thousands of uh, marine biologist researchers from all over the world. And of course, after all the up, up, up to get to Cook's Lookout, now, man, it's down, 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 and it's really hard on the feet and ankles. And I know, we're on Lizard Island, and all you can hear is me going, wah, wah, wah. No, it's absolutely worth any, any sort of pain at all. It's just incredibly glorious here. Well, good morning. And it is a fabulous morning, but it's very sad. Not because I haven't had my coffee and we're moving, it's because we're going to be leaving Lizard Island this morning. And we really say we could stay a month or more. It has been an absolute beautiful stay. I hope you've enjoyed the footage that we've supplied for you on this gorgeous island. And hopefully you'll come here one day too. But it's up anchor for us this morning and we're still heading north. That dream is still getting closer. So our course today is Skipper. Ingram Island, please. Ingram Island. Thanks, uh, driver. On course already. 290 is our course. Straight. 290. Straight there forward. Yeah. Now we're back around. 662, 62, 64, 65. Sounds like us. We get more wind once we're out past one. Nice one. Engine off. Engine off. Five eight, five seven, six one seven. Five five, five five, five eight. Doing okay, just with the heady. Yep. Now we're picking up. See, we're getting the wind now. Yep. yep. We're picking up the wind now. Yep. <coughs> four, six, four, six, six seven. seven. Not bad for Hetty only, and she's not a full Genoa. She's only she's a high cut Yankee, so How, she's um, not a bigger sa as yeah, sail as bigger sail as lots. Down to yeah, normally. yeah, well that's right. It's normally right to the to safety line.
time to re-rig the rod for heavier fish because uh, we just got snapped off instantly. Bang! With the other rig that we normally use for uh, southern Queensland. Uh, obviously the fish up here are a bit bigger. A normal Spiro rig we only use um, well 50 pound line from the uh, swivel behind the, the paravane back to the spoon lure. But now we're going with 50 pound line, then a swivel, and then some uh, braid back to the lure itself. We're approaching our anchorage at Ingram Island, and there is a massive reef system and other little islets all in front of it. So. We're quite hopeful of having a, a very calm night's sleep. We're at 5-5. Five, five. the depth still OK. That's better drop. Good morning, Saturday morning, uh, June 10th, and we are sailing north towards Cape Melville. The forecast told us that we were going to have 20 odd knots, but we haven't even got 10 at the moment. No, I think it's building to about 10 at the moment, but yeah, it's a nice gentle sail, and we're doing in the fives, so we're going to get there mid-afternoon, it will be a lovely sail. Yeah, we're heading to uh, the Flinders group of islands. We're planning on anchoring up in a channel between Flinders and Stanley Islands. And you might notice in the back we've got uh, both headsails out. This is an experiment for us. <laughs> it is. The wind is directly behind us at the moment. And uh, we have the, uh, the Yankee, the headsail, hold out on the starboard side. And what we've done is we've actually put the boom all the way out on the port side with a block on the end of it and run the sheet from the staysail out to it and we're trying to get that butterfly effect with the two sails and at the moment it's working very nicely. Yeah we've been trying to find a combination that's going to work really well for our ocean pot, um, passage from Thursday Island across to Indo and we want this combination that it's the head sails that is dragging us along with that downwind instead of being pushed along with the big main. So hopefully this will work. Well, as I say, we've got less than 10 knots of wind at the moment and we're doing sort of five and a half odd yeah. knots through the water. Very so, nice. um, yeah, we can't complain about that. No, we can't. Honestly, we're just so pleased to be underway again. They are. We expected to have 20 to 25 knots all the way up the coast, mm -hmm. but it looks like we might have a bit of a window of easier weather. We'll see. Said not real big. It's not real big. I've seen bigger. <laughs> Get the towel around him. Because he's trying to spit the lure. So while the boys are out catching fish, I'm out down in the galley making some lunch. We're just having some chicken, um, spinach and cheese, and camembert in crepes. Yum yum. You know, I'm getting ready. This one's final. Yep. Thank you. This looks absolutely fantastic. A warm lunch. Perfect. You can do this again. 
now that we've rounded Cape Melville, the wind's on about oh, 120, 110 degrees. Obviously the uh, staysail has been rolled away and we're proceeding with just the uh, polled out uh, Yankee, the headsail. But we have left the boom out to the uh, port side and what that's doing for us is it's actually stopping a little bit of the roll with the boat because it's acting like a bit of a stabilizing counterweight. But more importantly, from uh, the skipper's point of view here, it's actually cleared our cockpit roof solar panels of any shade. And they're absolutely pumping in the power along with our uh, stern panel over the davits. And uh, here we are at midday, and our batteries are actually full and on float. So, always a nice way to be. No, that's not a submarine on the horizon, but a very well camouflaged set of rocks to look like a submarine. When you look at me this way, I find it hard to not give in. Okay, so Ingram Island to what ended up the anchorage in Stokes Bay at Stanley Island. Uh, we've done 49.6 nautical miles, 8 hours 21 minutes, average of 5.96 knots, just under the 6 knots. And that was probably because we spent uh, the last hour or so through the channel between Flinders Island and Stanley Island, because uh, we, we thought about anchoring in the channel and decided it was a bit too much swell coming in there so we continued on round here to uh, Stokes Bay and it is glorious we're anchored up in uh, four and a half meters of water um, in good holding on the bottom and no swell coming in the bay at all and the wind is uh, much much calmer than around the other side so good choice and the plan is we might stay here for a day or two, or who knows? We'll find out. Would you follow me to wonder if you're everything that matters to me makes me wonder why I can't get over you. As you can see from the dates we put in our graphics, we're usually a couple of months ahead of the videos in real time. That means right now, we're into Indonesia and off exploring these amazing islands. If you'd like to see where we are in real time, then please join the Our Dreamtime virtual crew over on Patreon. You can see our spot tracker map and our regular sit rep videos and our photos. As always, we'd like to say a huge thank you to everyone who supports these videos by watching, liking, commenting, and especially our virtual crew members on Patreon and Ko-fi. This Dreamtime Sail channel wouldn't exist without your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, please think about doing so. It's absolutely free and helps us more than you can imagine. If you hit the bell button, you'll also be notified every time we release a new video. See you next time.